Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to properly calibrate the IMU or internal measurement unit on your Phantom 3 professional or advanced and on a straight level surface. I recommend doing a full IMU calibration when you buy it new just to ensure that your Phantom flies as perfectly straight and level as possible. Um, it should also be done after, um, I'd also suggest doing it after firmware updates or if you've been into a, been in a crash or had your Phantom in durable luggage that got shook around a lot. So um, it just ensures straight level flight and stability of your Phantom. Um, before doing an IMU calibration, you want to uh, make sure that the your Phantom has been uh, resting in a cool environment. You don't want to do this directly after you've been flying it for a while. So you want the Phantom to be at room temperature, cool. I wouldn't recommend putting it in a refrigerator like some people have been doing. Um, uh, every now and then you might see um, temperature warnings when doing an IMU calibration, even when the, your Phantom has been been sitting idle, but I already ignore those errors. that They're erroneous really for the most part. Unless it's been, unless you've had it sitting in a hundred degree room, which you shouldn't have. Uh, so, uh, anyway, let's continue on as far as the straight level surface portion. Um, the way I've been doing IMU calibration since my Phantom 2 is I make sure that this extra plaque here is uh, straight and level. And, um, I use my leveler over here. You can see nice right in the middle. That way. And nice in the center over here. So I used a couple of uh, newspapers to uh, shim the platform a little bit to ensure a straight level platform for the best possible calibration quality. Uh, once you have your street level service surface established, um, then you'll get on with performing the calibration. Um, also, another reason for doing an IMU calibration would be if you're having trouble with your uh, gimbal tilt, uh, not staying uh, level with the horizon. So let's say even if after you do a uh, calibration of your camera to make make it level and it's still not working uh, you'll want to do an IMU calibration as I'm showing you now but again you'll want to do both calibrations on a perfectly level surface so um, I'm going to be demonstrating now using the iOS app although it's the exact same procedure regardless of which app you use for it so uh, let me power on the Phantom Okay, now that my uh, unit is powered up, you can see I can uh, tilt my wheel up and down. Uh, to get to um, the calibration menu, you're going to click on the controller icon, which is right over here. Click on the controller icon, and then you're going to see RC settings by default, then you're going to click on the top corner here on this icon and you're going to see uh, MC settings and you're going to scroll down to where it says sensors and then you have two buttons here uh, one says check IMU and the other one is IMU calibration. So, I mean the IMU is within range, so if I chose check IMU, it's going to say calibration not required, but um, I want to just ensure that this is as perfect as it can be, so I'm going to do IMU calibration, and I'm going to um, choose OK, and 
and then OK again. And then let's just let it go through the procedure until it's done. And if you are going through the bother of doing this, I do suggest following up with your gimbal calibration as well right after this. So you, you may as well, since you've gone through the trouble of leveling your um, surface out, making sure that you're starting the phantom off after just after sitting idle for a while and whatnot. So this can take uh, a few minutes to run. It can vary. So you can feel free to skip ahead if you want. I'm going to just let it run real time though, so that way you can see how long it takes real time. So we're at 12 percent. Yeah, this is going to be a few minutes typically takes a couple minutes, a few minutes, when I've done it on my Phantom 2. This is my uh, first uh, IMU calibration on this unit. I have not flown it yet. So I'm going to follow, follow it up with a gimbal calibration. And then when I go out to fly for the first time, I will be calibrating the compass in a clear open field. Um, you see people calibrating their compass in their house, which they should not be doing. You're not going to get a clean compass calibration. But anyway, this is the uh, IMU. So by the way, if you people find um, this video helpful, I do appreciate you uh, giving me a like on this video and sharing and subscribing so you can see a lot more um, helpful videos that I'll be putting up on this as well as other topics such as um, iPhone hacks and jailbreaking, reviewing other tech toys, games, tips, tricks, and so forth, as well as um, range mods for the Phantom 3. So we're at 30. I'm gonna, I'll put an annotation in the video showing where you can skip ahead to see the end of the uh, calibration process. So if you don't want, so you don't have to like sit and wait. Again. Oh, kind of skipped ahead pretty quick there. Right. We could do some rubber feet on this tripod. for all the movement there. Okay. And the Phantom is just doing its own thing here. Okay, that's just about 100%. All right. Calibration finished, 100%. So now my new mod values after the calibration are basically 0, 0, negative 1, 1. Nice and perfect. If you want to do a Kimball calibration at this point, you can uh, do a Gimbal Auto Calibration. You could also manually 
do some tweaks adjusting the gimbal roll but uh, let me uh, do gimbal auto calibration and see what it, and see if the phantom does anything while I do that so Okay. No, that was it. Kimball out of. No, no, there we go. There's no indicator saying that it finished or not. I just pushed the button and it did a couple things. No, let me do it one more time. Just out of curiosity. Alright, so that's that. <clears throat> that's how to properly perform an advanced IMU calibration and how to get it so that way it's perfectly straight and level, as well as uh, your gimbal calibration, auto calibration. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, much, much, much appreciate a like, uh, share, and subscribe if you want to see more.